is a lot, okay? This case right here is a lot. Um, it's basically about academics. Academics speaks about how there was this girl he was messing with. Well, well first and foremost, he talks about how he was invited um, to a party. And then when he went to the party, he told his friends, like, y'all gonna have to drive my car because I'm not driving tonight. You know, I'm gonna get drunk, drunk. And it was at, um, I believe, Antonio Child, some athlete house, right? Um, and then he speaks about how he went there and, you know, came back home and crashed and fell asleep. Um, and before he fell asleep, he had invited this young lady over that he had been kicking it with, you know, really dealing with over the years. Um, and, you know, the girl came to his house. Um, and when the girl came to his house, allegedly, according to him now, because I wasn't in his case, um, the girl came to his house while he was asleep and messed with two of his friends um, on some three-way ish. And he caught it on camera because his whole house is like ran by cameras. And he confronted the girl about it and it turned into a big thing where the police had came and, you know, police got involved. His house got raided amongst other things. The girl has came out since and spoke out and said that's not the case. She said that Ack had did some things to her as well. You know, it wasn't just his friends. She said it, it, it's just a crazy situation. I guess police was involved. This is a like this entire situation is crazy. I'm just going to tell y'all. I'm not the one to judge because when it comes down to situations with the R word and um, victims, I'm very biased. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm all about the victim. I really am. So I don't want to tell you guys like which way to go because I'm, I'm very like very pro victim, you know, because I feel like when somebody does something to you, it is very, very like it's a hard situation. However, all situations are not the same. You know, sometimes the women are not 1000 percent correct. So in cases like this, I like just personally always stay away from it just because I know like I'm a of my biases against the victim because I myself was a victim before so I don't ever like to say like oh somebody you know didn't get art or they were lying I, I don't like to play about that so I just kind of stay out of it so I'm just gonna play these clips for y'all and y'all can let me know in the comments what y'all think if y'all think you know it's the true situation let me know y'all like comment and subscribe just let me know what you think about it and I'm gonna listen to y'all because I, I can't give my opinion one way or another because you know it just looks crazy on both sides um and I'm always pro victim and I'm aware of my bias so I, I can't speak on it. I just refuse to speak on it. My personal views just because I, I just think that with this case, I, I don't know how to think, you know, I don't have a specific view on it, you know, so just let me know what y'all think. Y'all can probably shift my you know, opinion one way or another. I don't know y'all, but I'm play these clips. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I love y'all so much. Bye bye. They raided my house because I, so there was a woman that came to my house. That woman claimed she was sexually assaulted. Not by me, by other people. But one day I'm like, I tell my niggas, I say, yo, I want to get drunk today. And my nigga, Adrian, uh, um, Antonio Brown invited me to a pool party. I tell my niggas to even drive my cars. I say, yo, drive my car. I'm about to get drunk. That's how you know I'm definitely about to get drunk. Because I'm like, yo, I'm telling niggas drive my car. Anyway, I go to the party. There's a girl texting me that I haven't seen in a year. She said she want to come through. Cool. I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yo, we're going to leave the party around 8, blah, blah, blah. blah. You can come through. I'm going to send you a lift. I come home. Yo, I'm so drunk. I'm like, I ain't drive my own car. I walk upstairs to where my master bedroom's at and I fall out. This one, uh, y'all gonna see what the lesson is in this. Yo, I just pass out. I forgot I Ubered a bitch to my crib. I forgot, nigga, I'm drunk. My nigga, 4 a.m. comes. Remember, I'm, I'm at my crib at 9. 4 a.m. comes. I'm knocked out. 4 a.m. comes. My homie, I never see the girl. I never see her. My homies wake me up on some shit like, yo, act. We leave it. I'm like, oh shit, damn, I was fucked, like, damn, I'm fucked up, type shit, like, y'all been sleeping. They're like, yo, lock the door, because we're leaving. I said, damn, y'all leaving? They're leaving at like 4 or 5 a.m. I right, bet. I go, and I go lock the door. Then they say to me, when I'm locking the door, they say, oh, by the way, that girl you invited, yo, she down there at the other end of your house in the guest bedroom. I look at them, and I said, what girl I invited? They leave. I go, I, I walk down the hallway. I walk down the hallway. <laughs> I remember saying, like, damn, what was y'all doing when I was sleeping type shit? She was like, oh, shit, now nah, we were just having fun, blah, 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 Now, granted, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for a couple years. I've messed with her for years. I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my camera. I go to my, my, my DVR. I'm looking what's going on. Gang, this is facts, and I'm not trying to make her look crazy, and I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position. This is reality. Brother, this is a girl who I've been dealing with for, like, two years on and off. We were not steadily, like, we, we were like, you know, hang out, hang out, hang out. Not really hang out. Hang out, hang out, hang out. Not really hang out. That type of shit. You feel me? She ain't, she, she's actually, like, a really good girl. Like, she's a girl who kind of gives, like, really nice energy. Like, not one of them, like, sexy red type turns. Like, not to disrespect her either. When I look at my camera in the morning, dang. The shorty was getting, like, I, I don't even, I don't even, like, she was getting trained by my two bands.
Like, on my pool deck, the night before when I'm sleeping. I'm dead ass. This would happen. Nigga, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? Nigga, I invited you over here. I paid a lift. The lift was like 200 bucks. Nigga, she lived. I don't even want to say where she lived. I'm like, what? How could you come to my joint and get trained by my mans while I'm sleeping? I asked her one question. And this is facts. Facts, my nigga. I said, do you know? I, I said, Any, everything you did last night, right? I said, you wanted to do, right? Because, you know, j just off like, because she's acting like nothing happened. And I'm like, everything you wanted to do, right? And she said to me, yeah, I had fun. Everything was cool. But I'm feeling the way because I'm like, really came to my crib and just fuck my niggas and really think I don't know type shit. Like, so I said, I said, I said, damn. I said, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm like, yo, y'all made a motion video last night, man. I, in reality, I said, y'all got a whole video of, of, of whatever happened. And she was like, what are you talking about? I tell her, I'm like, yo, really? I'm like, yo, it's cool, bro. Like, I see you, you fuck my niggas type shit. She said, nah, I never fuck your niggas. Really? Bro, you did. No, I didn't. She was like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I probably got naked and like twerk for them, but I ain't never fuck them. Already I'm thinking like, I know you lying now because you're admitting to get, first of all, why would you be getting naked for my niggas? <laughs> if you came for me, you don't know what the niggas would get. Whatever, cool. I bet. So I show her, I'm like, yo, bro, you don't gotta lie to me. It's cool. Like, I get it. Like, we, like, this is the first time I've seen her, like, in a year. I said, you don't gotta even lie to me. Nigga, I even show, I show her on my phone. I said, bro, look, right here. Bro, like, look at this right here. She was like, uh, uh, like, at first, she was like, uh, uh, yeah, he might take his dick out. Like, I think he rubbed his dick on my pussy, but I never, I'm like, yo, bro, you really lying to me right now. So I ain't gonna hold you. Nigga, I scrolled in the video. Nigga, I got the video in my shit. I scrolled in. I said, bro, here's a video of him fucking you. Then I scrolled again. I said, here's a video of him fucking you and you sucking off my other man's. Oh, what? What? Now, now the, now the story changed. The story now becomes, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't know that. When she apologetic, she's like, yo, you gotta believe me. Like, yo, I, like, I would've never did that. Like, yo, shit, I'm so sorry. I would've never disrespected you like that. Like, yo, I came here for you, this, that, and third. Anyway, my mama had to come that day. Like, on some real shit, I ain't even bullshit. My mama was coming to my crib. So it's not only, like, usually when that girl comes to my crib, she stays a couple days. Like, I ain't even bullshit. She usually come stay a couple days, bring clothes. But my mama was coming that day, so it wasn't because I was salty. And, you know, if y'all don't believe that, y'all believe that, but that's really what it was. So I told her, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, yo, you gotta go, yo. So she's looking at me like, damn. And she said it. She said, damn, yo, you mad cold with me right now. She's like, usually you get me breakfast and she's like, why are you so cold? And I'm like, nah, my mama come in here like, yo, you gotta go. I'm shaming her now. I'm shaming her. I said to her, I said, yo, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, bro. And you came to my house and had two niggas just fuck you raw. I ain't seen no condom, no nothing. I told her, I said, yo, you should go get tested, man. Like, you done. I said, that's why, yo, you should go get tested, bro. And from that moment, she started, like, because she, the denial shifted. And she kept, like, trying to, like, pivot on the denial to, yo, nah, send me the video. Yo, I'm pretty sure I didn't fuck him. And I'm like, bro, you fucked him. And she's like, no, no, look again. And I, now I'm getting super tight because I'm like, bro, I'm not about to watch this video if you getting fucked, my nigga. Like, it's on my surveillance. Like, bro, like, I was fucking with you. Like, what? you want me to watch the video if you getting fucked? Cool. Shorty now says to me, um, yo, I'm going to keep it, keep it a bean with you. Like, I really don't believe I would really do that. I'm not that type of person. Yo, you're right. I should go get tested. Remember, I, I told her to get tested, right? I think, and that's why I said, like, maybe I fucked up by, like, because now I'm making her seem nasty, right? Like, yo, go get tested. What the fuck? She said, yeah, I'm going to get tested. And, yo, you know, I'm going to get a rape kit. I tell her, I'm like, nigga, I'm like, yo, yo, get a rape kit. Like, so good. Like, yo, whatever. I said, whatever you got going on. But she keeps asking me, like, yo, could, like, are you sure what happened after this? How did both of the guys get there instead of one? Because I remember talking to him, but I don't remember the other guy. And I'm like, bro, I'm not watching this. So now I'm getting, I'm getting defense. I ain't watching that shit no more, gang. I'm not watching this shit. Okay. That's the last time I talked to her. The next time I talked to her, she asked me one random day, like three days later, yo, could I get your friend's names and numbers? Bro, you still trying to, like, I say, yo, you fucked them. You can't get their name and number? Why the fuck you need me to get their name and number? I don't know. Like, come on, bro. Why you keep asking my niggas you don't fuck? Yo, can I get their names and numbers? Bro, I say, you know, because she keep wanting to say, I want to know what exactly what happened. Are you sure nobody used the condom? I said, bro, from the video I seen, I ain't seen them niggas use the condom type shit. By the way, here's the thing. And, I, and for the guys who's watching, this is what being a good guy gets you. Because I could have acted like nothing happened. I could have just chalked it to the game, which I probably should have and be like, that's a girl. You know how girls are. Yo, I've thought about this a million times. I really think that me making her feel some shame made all this happen. Because the day after when she walked up to me, she said she had fun. And I'm the one feeling the way like, bro, you had fun fucking other niggas, bro. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Being a good guy, cut that shit out, man. Don't help no, like, bro. If it don't got to do with you, man, let everybody get out of the mud. Fuck that shit. So anyway, she keep asking. Send, she say, yo, I want to see the video. I'm, I keep telling her, I'm not going to keep watching a video where you're fucking my friends. You were supposed to be fucking with me. Okay. She asked me for my, my friend's names or whatever. I said, yo, you know, I'm going to give you my man's number. I said, whatever you want to know about that night, he fucked you, you go talk to him. Y'all go talk, okay? All right. When I get home, 
I was coming from my studio. And when I get home, 20 minutes after I get home, that's when the raid happens. I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. This is what you wanted. You're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Um, I also really want to get to you. I mean, I'm not going to, because this not going to really be no back and forth between me and nobody type shit. You feel me? This ain't gonna be no real back and forth with me and anybody in particular. But I also do want for the people who rock with me and who's gonna understand what the fuck I've been saying and realize I'm not coming on here like, nigga, I would've never said none of that shit if I came on here to lie. Uh, what I'll say is, oh, 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 I wasn't even gonna, I wasn't even gonna post these type of joints. I wasn't even gonna post these type of joints. But I see Shorty, who clearly was involved in that situation. By the way, Shorty, I didn't bring this up to make you look no way. This was a, this was a dealing between me and my girl or me and my ex-girl. She just kept using that incident, so I just cleared, I just spoke on it and cleared it. I didn't mean to make you look no type of way. I haven't spoken on you. You're right. I just said what happened. I didn't even say who you were. You the one who just jumped out the woodworks. I would never said who you were, Shorty, okay? And I'm not even going to play because she made a video. I'm not even going to play the video you made. But what I do want to show, number one, first and foremost, if everything or anything you're saying is true, a nigga would have been charged. N nothing happened. You feel me? No case, no nothing. Also, I will say this. These are things that the police and everybody else looked at they damn self. You know, unlike the Casanat incident, I will say, this one was something that the police handled, not social media. It's crazy now that the police handled it, nothing happened. They said, oh, okay, this wasn't shit. Now, Shorty's trying to, and again, I don't know how she just jumped into the mix, but I'm going to show you exactly, and by the way, I can't show certain shit. Like, for example, I sent her a video of, of her at my poolside with two niggas. I said, I was sleeping. I can't show you that explicit photo. I still got the image of that. Feel me? I, I can't post it on here, clearly. But the police seen all this shit. Like, these are, they seen everything. Okay, so these are the messages. We're going to go off, like, I'm not even going to play what Shorty said, because I'm not going to do this back and forth. I'm going to show you text messages, what the police said, and you, you're you going to read these messages. And remember what I said? You're going to read these messages and says, and just say to yourself, man, this, this sound like act was capping. Or, man, this sound like act did some shit. Oh, this, whatever you want to take from that, you take from it. I was never going to even post these shits. But you got these people, like, trying to cloud chase doing too much, my nigga. Like, y'all got to chill. Shit, I'm already into it with, like, that other Shorty. Like, y'all better, all right, here we go, though. Now, I'm going to just give y'all, this is a Hopefully, this is the last time I really even got to speak on it. I had to edit, her, edit out her name and shit like that. You feel me? I had to edit out Shorty's name. But I'm going to show you the first message after Shorty... Well, I had sent her a picture. I said, bro, this is clearly our fucking. You know what I mean? Because at first, she was saying, why fuck? I said, this is clearly our fucking, right? Um, Which one's the first one? Right here. Okay. I've cropped out her name because I want to I wanna make sure... Like, I'm not trying to... This is not... Bro, me and this girl, we haven't talked ever. Like, we haven't talked in a really long time. We haven't talked since that date, and I'm not trying to antagonize her, and I'm not trying to make her feel no type of way. I understand from her point of view, whatever, like, it's traumatized. Thank God I still got this old-ass phone, bro, this old phone with all the receipts, nigga. All the receipts. Okay, bingo, right here. This is the message. I'm going to tell you, I can't post. So, on that day, so the first, me remember, she got in the car, she's leaving. She got in the car, she's leaving. I'm Ubering her back. She says, can you talk? She calls my phone. She calls my phone, and she says, yo, hey, um... Like, I can't really believe that this happened, blah, blah. She was like, yo, are you sure? Like, yo, what happened then? So, I'm like, bro, like, I'm gonna lie, you haven't, like, I, I hate to say this because, like, I know she gonna feel away, but this, I'm only speaking facts. I'm only speaking facts because that's just is what it is. I'm not trying to make her look no type of way, bro. I said, there's a, I said, bro, you were having sex with both of them at once. I sent a screenshot, a picture of her with the two dudes to her, right? This is what she said. I, by the way, I can't post a picture of her and the two dudes, clearly, right? Like, duh. So, I cropped it from there and I cropped her name out. This is the messages that proceeded right after that. By the way, she's in an Uber going home back from my crib. Remember, like, I started acting distant to her after I confronted her. I'm like, yo, you fucked two niggas in my crib. Whatever, whatever. This is the messages. Now, I'll, remember, I don't know if y'all seen what video or whatever she just put up. Does that video sound like these messages is like, act, you did something to me, right? I need, th th remember, in her video, she says, oh, nah, it, she says, ah, nah, it wasn't just your friends, it's you. Does these messages sound like academics did anything? I'm gonna put it up on the screen. This is the first message after I sent the picture. This is her. Y'all know how text messages work. I'm sorry. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. Hmm, you won, I suppose. The reason why I said that is because when she was in my kitchen and I was telling her, like, yo, I think you fucked my nigga. She was like, yo, don't you like girls that be fucking mad niggas? And I'm like, bruh, you know, like, I looked at you. I, and if she remembers this, you know, I'm not capping. 
I said, you know, men look at girls two different ways. We have girls that we could possibly wife for their good girls and whores. Like, why y'all always think that a nigga want a chick who fucking everybody? So that's why I was like, yo, I don't know what you want me to say, LOL. Because I think she finally, she, when she says I'm sorry, she's finally accepting it that she did have sex with the two dudes. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. I said, I guess you want, I suppose, whatever. She says, I never meant for all that to happen. I, listen, does this sound like she's saying I did nothing wrong? I know you can never look at me the same. This is what you're saying to me. That's, by the way, this is not, this is not Cheyenne. This is not Cheyenne. For everybody, this is not Cheyenne. This is some other shit. She says, look, I know you can never, you can't look at me the same. Okay. She says, I think I should talk to someone about this. I say, what you mean? She says, I feel really sad. And I think I should talk to someone about it like a therapist or something. Okay. She says, I'm hurt really bad. It's unlike me to do this. This is what she's saying. It's unlike me to do this. And I don't even know the other guy's name. I was just laying there. Anyway, like at, at this point, I ain't gonna lie. And this is where I, I say I feel a certain type of wrong for like, because I'm mad at her. I'm mad at her like, yo, you know me for like two years and you fuck like, yo, I'm mad at her. Like, I'm not really looking at it like, oh, maybe I'm thinking she's also playing games. I'm like, what you mean you don't remember doing it? Like, niggas on camera. What you mean you don't remember? Anyway. So I said, you call, I guess she calls. She says, I'm considering going in for a rape testing kit for us to figure this out. Because it's bits and pieces I remember, and I'm still not okay. Right? This is what I say to her. This is what I literally say. I said, I'm, this is what I say to her. I mean, I'm, I said, I mean, not sure what you want me to say. That's why I asked you while you were here, if everything you did while I was sleeping, you were okay with doing. Remember I told you, I said, I asked, I said, before I got to confront, I said, yo, yo everything you did last night, you were cool with doing, right? And she was like, yeah, I had fun. And then when I said, yo, you know you fucked my two niggas, she was like, what? No, I didn't. Anyway, she said, well, I was sleeping. You were okay with doing it? You said, yeah. So, I don't know. Remember, I, so I'm, I'm telling her, that's why I asked you when you were here. If everything you did while I was sleeping, you were okay with, and you said, yeah. So, I don't know. Then here's what she says. I was passed out for, for most of it, but I'd wake up now and... I was passed out for most of it, but I'd, I'd wake up now and then. Also, I was in shock. I got most of the information from you. Remember, I'm watching this shit like, yo, bro, you know what's... Like, I'm watching on the camera. From you. Before then, I never met the other guy. So he just took the opportunity, I guess. All right. I said, that's why I told you I don't judge. <laughs> so when I was telling her, like, yo, you know you did this. I said, bro, it's all good, bro. I don't judge, bro. It's all good. Like, I'm used to girls and, like, you know, this, like, whatever. Like, these chicks or whatever. Uh, uh, it's fine. Like, I'm not mad at you, no type of shit. I said, that's why I told you I don't judge. Trying to make sure you made the choice to do whatever you wanted to do. Right? That's, this is what she says. She says, um, she says, always with you, but not this time around uh, um i guess she's like i guess she's saying i'm always with you like i'm making a choice like with you so, so literally she's even saying it act with you i'm anytime i'm with you i'm making a choice always with you with you always i'm making a choice with you i can remember the girl i've dealt with for two years on and off type shit i'm making a choice with you always yes good you yes but she said i blacked out right remember i told you i'm sleeping i get woken up because my homies is leaving i go to the guest room i wake her up right that's when i wake her up during the night so I, I hit my, I hit my homies on the side. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I hit my homies. I said, bro, I said, you know she's like. I said, what happened last night? They, by the way, they ain't never tell me they, they had sex with her. So now I'm the one who gotta kick the kick it off by putting them in a the group text. Yo, what happened last night? Cause Shorty's acting like she wasn't with, with y'all doing whatever. They tell me, bro, how is she saying that? She even convinced us to give her her phone back. This is what my homies said on a different text. They she convinced her convinced us to give her her phone back that she could call her friend that her friend could come over too another girl. So that's why I'm telling her. I said. So I'm telling what my homie said. They says you were trying to call and bring your friend to join it. By the way, keep in mind, if I'm not sleeping, why am I, why am I keep reiterating what another nigga is saying? I'm, I'm like a middleman, right? Look, then she says, no call was made. I assumed they'd leave at some point. I, it was mad awkward, and I mentioned I wanted to come with my friend to meet you, not to, I says, she said, not to have sex with your friends. He got mad. He got mad at me saying everything with act. Got to go through me first and a whole bunch of creepy stuff. Nigga, I'm sleeping, my nigga. Like, I get that somebody else, but I'm just talking about me, though. I'm talking about me right now, though. She's she's saying somebody, one of my peoples is saying that to her. I said, I don't know. This is what I'm texting her. I don't know. I'm getting two different stories. I'm getting two different stories. Bro, if I'm there, if I'm, like, present, if I'm kicking it with y'all doing what I, I would be awesome two different stories. I'd be like, no, that's what happened. I'm getting two different stories, LOL. I said, I didn't ask them about anything about that night until today. After you text me, I literally tell her. I didn't ask my homies nothing about that night until right now when you texted me, right? Then she says, I wish I could see the entire video, how I got upstairs after the pool, and when the other guy got naked on top of me, everyone was going when I got up. Oh, I said, I have no idea. I haven't watched any of it. So I'm telling her, like, bro, I haven't watched the full video of y'all doing everything. Bro, it's like, it's like I don't know how long they were going for, bro. Like, I just wasn't going to be there. Hey, let me just eat my popcorn and watch my friends fuck the shit out of this girl that I was talking to. Like, bro, no. 
So it's like, um, I have no idea. I haven't watched any of it other than when you were denying it happened. I said, I'd rather not, LOL. I'd rather not watch the video. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Like, I'd rather not watch this type of video. She says, we don't have a choice because they're going to ask me all that and I don't remember that part. That's what she's saying. Then I said, who is they? She says, I mean, I just mean the doctors. Then she says, I don't know how this works. If a statement has to be taken or what, I don't want any of this to happen to any person, other person like that. And this is what I said. I said, I'd rather be kept out of stuff like this. Def don't want to be the middle person because everybody got their size. I talked to my homies. They said, bro, Nigga, she was mad awake. She was making us take shots, yo. She was lit as fuck. Like, she did blah, blah, blah. That's their story. I talked to her. She's like, oh, I don't remember none of this. And I'm like, uh, okay, this is, I'm, I'm like in a weird position. Then she says the last thing that got my fucking house raided. This is, this is, that's what I keep saying. Don't invite nobody to crib. This is why my house got raided. That's true, but it happened. See? So she's admitted. I'm the middle person. Then she says, it's true. But it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up story. Happened at your house. I think that's, a, is that the last one? Um, oh, yeah, well, this part really here. But, yeah, so if, if that wasn't the one that got my, my shit rated, it was definitely this part right here. <laughs> Look at me. So so I said, oh, she says, that's true, but it happened at your house. I don't have to lie about anything or make up stories. I said, yeah, but I got no parts. This is what I'm saying. I got no parts to, to do with what you guys did. I got no parts to do it. Then she says to me, I guess you won't be helping me figure this out. Then she says, that's okay. I know I'll need help because this is too much for just me. I said, of course I can. I said, of course, if I can help, I will. But I was sleeping for the whole thing, lol. I don't know what y'all interactions were. And she says, let's see what the advice. The advice. This is... Bro, this, this is all the... This is the last conversation I have with her then until she calls asking for the number of one of the other guys. And then two hours later, the police is trying to get a DVR. I guess she went to the cops. It's fine. But my nigga, like this... The, if you read the messages and you're like, Yo, oh, no, act, she's basically saying you did some shit to her. Nigga, and where did she say I did some shit to her? Nigga, to keep it real... And this is why I'm so upset, like, like not at her, I'm just upset about the situation. Because if I had saw her on video doing whatever and I never mentioned it, this would never be a thing. That was me, and I, and I guess I got a big mouth, but I really just thought I'm being a good host. Hey, everything was cool last night, Every, everything y'all did, y'all was cool, right? You was straight? Yeah, everything was straight. Alright. So, you know y'all like make like a, a whole fucking fuck tape on my shit, like y'all, 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 everything's, uh, what? Anyway, bro. Bro, come on, dog. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's it's right here, nigga. It's right here. Like, there's many opportunities, nigga. You don't even start a conversation by saying I'm sorry. Terribly, terribly, bro. You know why she's apologizing to me, bro? I start clamming up. Pause. Like, like, remember she wanted even a hug? Like, nigga, I'm giving her one of these. Like, bro, like, I'm not about to like hug. Cause this this is a girl. Like, you know, you don't know them chicks who like you really locked in with. Like, I would kiss her from time to time. I ain't gonna lie. All right, now I'm kind of distant. All right, gang. I right, see what's up. So when she's leaving, she could tell there's an energy switch with me. I remember, like, yo, she even told me, she's like, damn, you don't even hug me the same. Like, oh, damn, you don't even you usually get me breakfast. I'm like, no, my mom's coming. It's all good. That's why she's hitting me with the tone. I'm sorry. Tell me sorry. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. I ain't mean for all that to happen. I know you can never look at me the same. Bro, if this was, oh, nigga, you did something. You know, you know, you know what that, that text would have been? Nigga, you did this to me, nigga. You feel me? Anyway. I'm going to just, um, I just wanted to, 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 to arm anybody who wants to seek knowledge and who wants to seek some information or factual, um, basis about this situation. Yeah, there you go. You feel me? There you go. Even with me mentioning it last night, bro, I'm telling you, this girl, like, bro, that shit fucked, I, I'm guessing it fucked her up. Bro, it fucked me up too. It fucked me up because, nigga, I happened to get brought through the ringer more than the people that were supposedly doing whatever with her. Because it wasn't their house. They didn't have no property. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's my shit. So, okay, now I got to end all of I'm the name. So, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I, I, I did not try to bring her name up. I'm not trying to talk bad on her. I'm not trying to talk ill of her. I don't want to be beefing with her. That's not my goal. And I don't know what type of goal she might have going on. I get it. She might be on some, you know, let me not even say that. But you know what type of time people are thinking it is these days. All I'm going to say, these messages right here. And if she says, like, these messages police are. Yeah, I, I just wanted to show y'all that. And, I, and I'm going to get back off of here, bro. I only wanted to show y'all that shit. You know what I mean? Um, yes, somebody said she's trying, I'm hoping, I don't think it's a game cloud type of thing, because I think she would have been, like, said something before, what I think it is, is that, yo, she's hearing the story with everybody else, and I don't know if somebody, like, identified it was her, but she's looking at, like, oh, y'all think I'm, like, some thought, nigga, I ain't, like, this is what she did, she's trying to get on some more words, nigga, I ain't, never, I ain't never say you a thought, nigga, like, nigga, I said, I said, me and you were on and off, like, you know, you was my girl, never, but it's like, we used to, like, deal with each other on a one-on-one -on -one basis, that's it, one-on-one -on -one basis, facts, right, this shit happened, Shit never been like, I ain't seen you since, you ain't seen me since. 